Some time ago, we made a set of speakers out of two solo cups, some wire, and magnets. On the back of each cup is glued a coil of lightly insulated wire called magnet wire. Shown here without a magnet, we have an MP3 player outputting into the coils. When we bring a strong magnet near the coil, voila, music can be heard. All the current going through the coil won't make any music unless the magnet is nearby. The coil needs to interact with the magnetic field. In this project, we wanted to try doing the opposite. Can we make a microphone constructed the same way as the speakers? Our next step is this solo cup with much thinner wire. It's really thin gauge magnet wire. It's 42 gauge and we had 600 turns in the coil. Just taped to the back. It was a little better than the speakers but the sound was very weak. To upgrade from there, we made a third microphone. And this had, has a little bobbin. Zoom in on that. With 1500 turns of wire. Barely see this thin wire. And when the back vibrates up and down, it, the coil of wire moves. For this motion to create an electrical signal, it's going to need a magnet nearby. The magnet should be close for a strong field, but not touching. The spool has to be able to move freely up and down. So we've 3D printed a magnet holder that snaps onto the bottom of the cup, holding the magnet a short distance away from the coil. So here's the assembly, the magnet on the back, Take the magnet out. You can see the bobbin in there. Still free to point up and down. Seen from the side with the magnet in place, it's still able to move. Free to move up and down. We connected the ends of the coil of magnet wire to long wires that lead into the next room. There, we connected the wire to some old PC speakers we had. This way, we can tap the mic or talk into the microphone in a separate location from where we listen. We were able to barely hear it, but the sound was quite muddled. It seems like a lot of the nice sound quality was filtered out by this side. Okay, once again, we're testing final microphone, no amplifier, uh, not into the PC, just to the external speaker. Testing. One, two, three, testing. Hello. One, two, three, testing. Hello. This experiment won't be successful unless we get some more sound out of it. So we cobbled together a quick amplifier circuit out of some parts we had laying around and boosted the signal to the speakers. Naturally, with this in place, the output signal going out to the speaker was multiplied many times. Recording the final microphone with an amplifier. Out in the other room, we had a speaker. Let's turn it on. It's a real high-pitched 
buzz. That's from the amplifier. Testing. Testing. One, two, three, testing. This was easily visible on the oscilloscope and it was way louder at the speakers. One, the amplifier one, might have been a little three, too aggressive, cutting off if we spoke too loud, but it sure was effective at making it loud. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, whispering softly. This was a lot of fun to play with, but in the end, it's a really crude attempt at building a microphone. We hope it shows how magnet and conductors form the basis of most microphones, including most of the better ones out there.